What are you doing to that lock? You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Are you pulling my pizzle? Don't you know who I am? You better watch your step, or I'll make things so hot for you, you'll be lucky to get a job slopping out piss pots. But I was just... you... you misunderstood me. Sorry. You can go. Looks like he's caught that sickness. What am I gonna do? If he dies, I'll be right back where I started. God bless you. 
What troubles you? I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look there? I found a letter that might explain something. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? No, but even Deddy was of some use. It seems that bandit was a messenger. He was carrying a letter. That's interesting. And what's in the letter? Take a look for yourself, sir. Hmm. The names of the sender and recipient aren't written there, just the initials S and T. Seems to have some quarrel between them. This S person is threatening to finish with counterfeiting. Apparently, there's some German knight on the trail of the merchant Menhart. At the time the letter was written, the knight was in the tavern in Sassau asking about him. That sounds like a promising lead. You go to Sassau and find out what you can about this foreign knight. If he really is following Menhart, then he must know more than we do. Very well, sir. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Son.
My respects to you. I've heard there's a foreign knight staying here. That Deutscher? He's gone. But he said he'll be back. Did he give his name? No, and um, frankly, he wasn't the type you want to ask twice. Why is that? There are guests I like, and then there's those as keep me awake at night. This knight is a good payer, but he spends a whole day tweaking his whiskers and sizing everyone up for a fight. I don't have bloodshed in my establishment. Did you see his crest? That's just it. He arrived with a white shield, nothing on it, and the Wagners tell me that's how knights ride when they want to stay incognito. That is very odd. And do you know where he went? Yes, he asked me the way. Or demanded more light. Bastard scared me so much I almost forgot to ask him to pay. But you remember it in the end, eh? Well, business is business. And where was it he wanted to go? Well, he asked me about crossroads in the woods north of Rovna. I got the impression he was looking for someone. I know the roads that way. So I advised him to try looking at the charcoal burners junction. I see. Thank you. So just what was he doing here? He spent most of the day sitting, drinking and gaping at the other patrons. Now and again someone came up to him and they talked a while. But nothing much went on. Did you know any of those people? No, nobody familiar. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, but may I ask why you're looking for him? I have some unfinished business with him. Ah, it's just that the gentlemen look quite formidable and quite questionable. I'd hate to think I'd sort him out. I wouldn't fret about that. Good God, what a bloody mess. This one won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Someone was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. 
It looks like blood. I'm on the right track. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. God be with you. What happened at the crossroads? Huh? Enough bullshit. I know you dragged somebody here, so tell me what happened. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boyar. I don't want nothing to do with it. Who is this Boyar? Boyar cracks the whip around here. You recognize him by his red cap. Thank you. My respects to you. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Yes. Is that a problem? You're what passes for bristle and gristle around here, are you? Possibly. So listen to me, you hero. If you don't want me to wipe that crooked grin off your face, you'll start talking. Got it? Yeah, right. Because everyone knows charcoal burners are thieves and killers. Well, let me tell you, that's not at all what happened. I'll be glad to hear you out. Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. All right, all right. Just calm down. Here, take the key. Thanks. Are you? Never mind that. I've come to help you. Thank God. I thought I'd breathe my last here. Lucky for me, my guardian angel comes bursting through the door. I'm no angel, so you'll have to answer a few questions before you get my help. Ah, oh, well. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where has this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. 
Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. Do you know what you were carrying in that wagon? <coughs> I never asked Minhart that. <coughs> Can I see your wound? Are you a quack? Sort of. Mm. That's a deep wound to the flank and you're still losing blood. You need to staunch it. Will you help me? I can try. Tell me more about the night. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. Let's ah! Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks? They're behind the shed. That's him. That's got to be that knight. Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh-uh. Oh. Fuck! Stop! Stop right there!
done. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter as long as he goes back to the Sasso. I'm happy to see you again, sir. Likewise. No doubt you have many questions. I certainly do. We will talk. Not here, however. The wolves have ears. Let's meet at the pond after sunset. You'll find me waiting by the big willow tree. I'll be there. I will expect you. Glad you came. Good day to you.
So here I am. What do you have to tell me? My bro, you're here because I did not want to cause an alarm at the tavern. I am very sorry, but you made a mistake coming here alone. And it will be your last. Wait! You wish to make your peace with God? Very well. But be quick. You were lucky at our first encounter. You had a good horse at hand. But now I see you for what you are. You're old and slow. There is speed and there is skill. One grows with age as the other decreases. I will take my chances. 